So today I decided to film something a little bit different. Uh, right now I'm looking on my uh, server rack, you know. The Vancouver boy and Dead Mouse are not the only people who have server racks in their home. I found the only other person in Canada with a server room in his freaking house. Anyway. So right here that I'm staring at, this is one of my test um, test routers. This is specifically a PFSense. This is my PFSense box. So I'm gonna tell you a little secret. Um, every router, or you know, people call it wireless routers, but that's not really the proper name, but that's not a topic. But yeah, the secret is every router is a computer people will be like oh this is not a router it's a computer you are correct this is a computer <laughs> so yeah this is technically this this computer is turned into a router it has a sfp plus uh, network card right here it has uh, another ethernet port for the WAN. i have my cable connection my docsis 3.1 from rogers and i have my adsl connection right here uh, it's right here Trying to make sure it's in the frame. So yeah, the reason I have my DSL connection here, people probably know this. Here in Toronto and Canada, we lost internet from Rogers. Thanks, Rogers. You know, messing up your core network, according to them. And what I need to do, I'm going to be adding an extra, extra network card right here. So I can connect this um, DSL modem to my PFSense box. And I can do dual uh, when incrugate. Oh, well, not dual when incrugation. That's not a correct term. Basically, I'm going to be doing um, what's the correct term? It's not teaming. I guess you can call it teaming. But basically, I'm going to be having two inner connections and I'm going to be setting up different rules while I want to use the secondary inner connection. But the secondary inner connection is. Yes, so the router is off. So the secondary internet connection will be definitely used as a, as a backup. So anyway, I'm going to pop this SFP out. Be very careful. I don't want to get any dust in there. Well, I actually pop out the fiber connection. Going to disconnect the Ethernet and disconnect the power. I do want to upgrade this eventually to something like a 1U chassis with dual power supplies. Maybe even a single power supply. I'd rather have two routers than a single router. Oh man, I almost tripped on this fiber cable. One thing I can say, this rack is a lot cleaner than other racks I've seen on YouTube. You know who you are. But I just haven't had too much time to finish cleaning this rack. Okay. The funny thing is, this computer is actually one of my clients. They were, you know cleaning out their closet so I got I got this computer here okay so let's pop this up I actually have uh, two hard drives in here yes two old set of hard drives I think these are like 100 something gigs I'm not even sure I have over a kill amount of RAM and uh, great, I have room right here. I have a PCI, uh, exp oh, actually I have two of them. Holy shit. I have a one times PCI Express and I have a 16 times. It looks like a 16 times PCI Express, but anyway. So I'm gonna pop this open. And I'm gonna remove, uh, I guess I'll install it right next to the network card. Actually, how long is this? Uh, is this a two times? So this is what I'm going to be installing in here. This is a dual NIC. This is a really old network card, actually. This is an Intel Intel network card. This is the Intel uh, 1000 Pro or the Intel Pro 1000. There's different variations of this particular network card. Uh, there's been a lot of rebranded versions of this. There's been uh, HP. There's been IBM. Um, I don't remember what revision this is. But I'm going to be using this one specifically because uh, Intel works very well with uh, PFSense uh, specifically drivers. 
Uh, and then the reason I like specifically, and I would recommend if you kind of, you know, depending on your application needs, but I like a big chassis like this. Well, not this big. I want something smaller, like one U, maybe two U. Uh, the reason you have these expansion slots, so I can easily upgrade in the future to a, a different network card that supports, let's say, 25 gigabits per second or some other uh, uh, standard, basically, versus having these uh, Ethernet ports built in on the motherboard. So, for example, this is one gigabit. Let's say I get Bell Fiber that offers 10 gigabit Ethernet port on their Hub 4000, where their maximum speed is 3 gigabits per second. I can go out, buy a 10 gigabit or 5 gigabit or 2.5 gigabit network card, install it in here, and I upgraded my uh, firewall slash router to support fire higher speeds. And this system, the CPU and RAM does support higher, can support, you know, faster data uh, throughputs. On this system, I, I do push a 1 gigabit uh, routing, actually. This is my another network card I have. This supports, uh, this, these are SFP plus. Uh, these support 10 gigs. I have some uh, transceivers in here. Uh, these transceivers are not 10 gigs. I believe these are five gigabit transceivers. Well, I'm sorry, I wasn't looking at the, I need to adjust the angle on my camera here. Yeah, these are five gigabit transceivers. So, you know, Anyway, I'm not sure what I wanted to say here. So if I decide, you know, if I need more SFP transceivers, I can definitely install this. And obviously you can see right here, this looks like a four times PCI Express versus, I'm not sure what this is. Is that a three times versus two times here? Yeah, this is a three times behind me and this is a two times in front of me, I believe. I could be wrong. But yeah, this is definitely two times because, because if I try to install this right here, I can't, the expansion slot is too too short. <laughs> so I'll be probably installing it, in, installing it into this uh, 16 times slot right here. Gonna pop that out. And um, yeah, that's basically almost it. There you go. And yes, I have a PCI slot in this, uh, in this chassis. Let me tell the camera, this, this angle is horrible. It's right on my forehead. So yeah, this is a PCI slot. I'm actually gonna pop this out for a second. I wanna, I like to do the install twice. And yes, yeah, so you can uh, use, uh, let's say four times, three times, if there's in three times, two times and uh, 16 times slot. It's just gonna not use all the lanes basically. Uh, basically, that's it. I just installed a dual NIC, dual Ethernet NIC in here. And that's basically it. Now I'm going to close this up. And I did back up the configuration file, by the way, before I started this process. And if I really need to, I can uh, boot my virtual machine here that has my PFSense box there too. Okay, now I'm going to put the spec in the rec. This is definitely an overkill takes up five view space in my rack. But this is a way better router than what most people have at home, especially the offices. So here it is, my extra ethernet. I'm gonna connect back my LC fiber, connect power back in here. I really need to clean this up. My power is right next to my ethernet. Ugh, that's not, a, that's not the best practice here. There we go. Initializing. And it should be booting up the moment the power is restored. That's what I have it configured in BIOS, I think. That's normally what I would do. And that's it. That's basically it. Definitely going to be using one of these for my Bell Fiber. Uh, the SFP Fiber. <laughs> when Bell finish running Fiber here. And now I'm also going to be connecting. I already have an Ethernet cable for my D cell connection here. Uh, which one is A? Is it... I can't see here. Is this A or is that A? That's B, that's A. So that's port A, that's port B. Yeah, it's usually from the top, away from the PCI slot. So I'm also going to connect my Ethernet here for my... There we go, it's already active for my 
diesel connection. I'm gonna go to my router. It's probably gonna be a separate video, maybe no video. And uh, I'm gonna configure this extra interface, uh, basically. And yeah, that's basically it for now. So yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm looking forward towards configuring my um, PFSense box and uh, getting my um, secondary internet connection up and running. I already had it for a month, paid for a month, didn't even use it. But at least my, at least I'll be able to use it now. But yeah, anyway, I'm out of here. I hope you, you enjoyed watching this.